Yo, YouTube, it's TBE. Um, I just heard the news about uh, Omi and the Hellcat. And I just want to give my opinion what I think about him, what I think about his channel, and uh, the situation he's done got himself into. Um, and when I see first seen this channel, I ran across this channel like I ran across a lot of other channels. I'm not driving right now. Those you want to find my word Um, those of you, uh, I've ran into his channel, um, like I ran into a lot, I'm just looking for stuff to look at on YouTube while I'm driving, and, um, ran into his channel, he had a nice intro, he has, he has the best intro out of all intros, like, his shit was movie produced, his, his intro is, so, I was like, let me check this fat dude out, man, well, he just seemed like he was happy, he was rich, he was just always buying shit, so I'm steady looking. Introduced my wife to it. Introduced Christine to it, so me and her are looking at it. She's not liking it. She's sensing that he's arrogant, treats women bad, treats his baby moms bad. Uh, he just wants to be fame. I mean, she's getting a female vibe from him, but me and the male, I'm just seeing dude just living his life. And maybe shit didn't work out with him and his baby moms. I don't know, dude. He's he's just doing his own thing. So then as the videos start to progress, um, he changed up all the people that were around him. He changed them up. Now, think about when you're as rich as he is. You kind of got to watch that. You got to watch change it up. I didn't say you're not supposed to change up the people around you, but watch how they take it if because to me, I think what just happened to him had a lot to do with people who hate him. And somebody threw something out there, probably that they knew about him. Probably somebody who probably had something hanging over top of them. And you know what I mean? When you're as rich as he is and you got rich the way he got rich by creating apps on, on questionable sites. And um, that can lead to you getting into some trouble. But I don't know all the facts on it or that i'm just speculating just watch the people around you and two he had a lot of haters from people who weren't doing shit in their life but watching his channel and i think that they watched his channel they got a little bit envious and they have somebody higher up because you got almost a half a million viewers this isn't just young kids and young adults half a million people that, that scatters around to everybody people who are in higher up places and I feel like he's been under investigation probably from the day he introed on uh, on the YouTube because that interest was crazy. And you don't know who his neighbors are around him and all that, what influence. There's a lot of hands rubbing hands. And all you got to do is say, hey, man, I got a young, rich black man. He don't see himself being black, see himself being Spanish, but he's black. You know what I mean? So that's how they look at him. They got, we got a young black man here, got millions Talking about he used to be a drug dealer. He used to break the law. That's all it takes. And that probably got thrown out into the air and got into the hands of people who got influence. And that's all it takes to bring down the person. That's all it takes. And I feel sorry for the brother, man. He looked like he was living right, like he was doing the right thing. And he says he still has millions left. We'll see. Man, hopefully he'll make a comeback. All right. The, the shit he lost is material shit. Like, as long as you don't lose your life, your family, you know what I mean? That's what matters. Everything else you can get back. You can get back everything else. So, so I don't know if they took all his real estate properties and all that stuff. Like, we're going to have to find that out later on. But hopefully he didn't lose all that stuff. Hopefully he still got a mill or two somewhere else and he can get back into the properties but it was a power move on somebody's head somebody pulled a power move on that brother and shut him down and that, that's what jealousy would do man like when you get rich like that if you're gonna put your life out here on youtube your shit better be clean it better be clean bro you better be clean crystal ball ass clean you better have not a speck of dirt on your name or your business nothing because these people are going to bring you down 
Like they're just watching. They're not watching because they want to be entertained by you. They're watching to find out a way to bring you down. Like look at the truckers, the popular truckers on here that are going through it. The people taking clips of videos and sending it into their companies. Like it's it's, it's crazy out here, man. Like, it's, it's crazy out here. Like there's haters everywhere. They come in all shapes, colors, races, creed. This ain't all just a black and white thing probably. Could have been somebody around him that's black that put dropped a dime out there on him. Be like, hey, uh, do you know how he could have earned his money any other way he could have earned his money? Oh, uh, yeah, he, he did do this illegal act. Oh, okay, let's check that. Let's go check that out. When he checked it out, there you go. So, hopefully he'll make it out of this. I don't know all the facts on it. I'm just saying, I, I look forward to seeing his videos. He was inspiring to me, and um, and I hope he makes it out of this dumb mess. I hope it's dumb mess. I hope he ain't got to go to jail and do all this time. His kids are young. His kids are very young, and he shouldn't have to be dealing with all this. But um, yeah, you got to wise up, man, to everybody, man. If you're going to put your life out here, bro, everything you do, there's going to be haters and people going to try to bring you down for no reason other than just hate. And it don't matter if they're black, white, they could be whatever race. So it's TBE. I'm out, man. Owe me in the hell, cat. Keep your head up.